Let's I hope you all are well staying safe at home. Students, you all know that we are studying English Reader. Today we will study lesson number 10, the missing friend from English Reader. Okay. Firstly, I have explained you the chapter. Then we have done some exercises. You have to do the exercises in the book only. Students, today we will study from a reader book. That is lesson number 10, The Missing Friend. Write down classwork for the day. That is 10 for 2021. Firstly, I will read the chapter. Then I will explain to you. In a far off place, there lived seven men. men. One day, this, they decided to leave home and go out into the world to seek their fortune. After walking in the hot sun for some time, they sat down to rest in the shade of a big banyan tree. In a far of, uh, in a play, in a place, there lived seven men, and they decided to leave their home and go out uh, for work. When they were going, uh, now they were tired, so. They sat under the big banyan tree. You can see this is a big banyan tree and the seven all the seven men are sitting over here. Suddenly, one of them looked at the others and said, Are we all here? Nobody answered. Whoever is missing, please put up your hand. He said, Nobody put up his hand, but he wanted to be sure. Now, suddenly, one of the seven men said, Who is missing? Is there anybody who is missing? Please raise your hand. Nobody raised their hand. He touched each man on his head and counted one, two, three, four, five, six. There are only six of us. Where is the seventh one? The others looked at each other who was missing. Then the second man said, let me count. He counted each man by placing a palm on each one's chest. One, two, three, four, five, six. One of us is missing, said the third man. We must search for him. The first man says that only six people are there. Again, the second man also said, the third person also says that we are only six. So the seven men started searching for them missing. Friend. Now, those seven men started searching their friend. They searched behind bushes in the tall grass in the trees but couldn't find the last men. A farmer came up the road riding a donkey and whistling merrily. He stopped when he saw the men running around. He looked at them for some time and then asked, What are you looking now, all the seven men started finding their missing friend. They searched behind the bushes in the tall grass in the trees but couldn't find the lost man. Now, there was a farmer who was going through that road riding a donkey and he was in a very happy mood. He stopped and watched all the seven men. What were they doing? So he asked them, what are you looking for? All the seven men started talking together. The farmer laughed. If all of you speak together all. I can hear his noise. Why don't one of you tell me what the matter is? All of them fell silent and looked at each other. Again, the farmer laughed, pointing to the man closer to him. He said, you tell me. Then uh, they all were talking in a chorus. Means they all were talking in a mixed group. So the farmer couldn't understand. He says, if you will talk like this, I won't understand. I can hear only loud noise. So one of you. Come and tell me. Now, the one person says, When we started from home, there were seven of us, but we lost one of our friends on the way. 
we can only count six of us he said his eyes filling up with tears now he says that when we came from our homes from our hometown at that time we were seven now we have lost one of us and he started crying is that all the seven were men were offended we lost a dear friend and you act as though that is nothing now then the seven men were very happy um were very unhappy and he says to the farmer those seven men says that we have lost our dear friend and you are saying that nothing happened the farmer replied please don't be angry i will help you find him the seven men brightened up and spoke in a chorus please find him for us now the farmer says don't get angry i will find your seven friend now all the seven months were very happy delighted and they all speak up together and they say please find him for us the farmer made all of them stand in a row facing him then stepping in front of each man he pointed at each man's chest and counted loudly 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 the men gave a shout of joy now the farmer made them stand in one in a in a one row and facing farmer's side and then and he started counting each man pointing man's chest 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 then the men uh, the men were the seven men were very happy they thumped each other on the back and cried he is back he is back our friend is back our seventh friend is back with great respect one of them turned to the farmer and said you are the wisest of us all we are very grateful to you for finding our lost friend now one of the uh, seven men came and talked to the farmer he says thank you for finding our seventh friend you are the wisest of us all and we are very happy so in return we will work for you one month without taking any wages now he says in a return we will work for you for a month without taking any wages the farmer was delighted this is the best bargain i have got in a long while he said to himself and smiled now the farmer was also happy that he says that this is the best thing this is the best bargain i have got and he uh, said this to himself and smiled now we will do the exercises exercise number 1 tick the correct option a the men left their homes in search of in search of wealth the friends counted only 6 because none of them counted himself in order to find the lost friend the men searched in the trees behind the bushes at the end the farmer smiled at the love of the men for their lost friend the foolishness of the six the foolishness of the seven men now we will do exercise number 3 find words for the story that mean the opposite of these words sad 
delighted, thankless, grateful, whisper, sound, cried, laughed, softly, loudly, most foolish, wisest. Now, come to the last page over here. Think and write any two words to describe a farmer. Number one is clever. Number two is wise. Now, color the boxes that have words you use to describe the seven friends. Foolish, kind-hearted, simple and grateful. So, here we have completed our reader course that's all for today's students do this work in your book only okay so start the work soon start your work fill the exercises in the book only and if you have completed your work then show it to me in the whatsapp group that's all for today's students your homework is learn all the exercises of lesson number 10 the missing Friend, that's all for today. Have a good day. Thank you.